Hi, this is Tom and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we go over a few things of what to look out for whenever you're doing land clearing with a piece of equipment, how dangerous it really could be. Today I'm using a Yanmore 55. It's about a 12 or a 13,000 pound machine with a thumb on it. My opinion when clearing land, the bigger the better. I was trying to rent a 160 John Deere hoe with a thumb on it, but with the conflicting weather conditions and availability of the machine, I wasn't able to get it for this weekend. So I decided to use this one from work. In the previous videos, I mentioned I had a strategy in play. I try to go over here on these piles and just pick out what's salvageable for splitting for firewood and what needs to be burned in the pile. Only the first inch of the ground's frozen since we had all that rain the previous day. Once the sun comes up, this will all turn into a mucky mess. I'll have to stop everything I'm doing for the day. A lot of people underestimate the power of a piece of equipment. When you're moving sticks and stuff around, it seems like it's happening so easily, but you don't realize what kind of force you could be putting on a tree limb or whatnot that could spring back and come right into the calf and injure or kill you. To the left there you can see I'm starting to stage a bunch of logs that I'll come up and cut rounds out of them. Towards the end of this video you'll see where I take some 60 or 70 foot trees down with this 12,000 pound excavator. Another perk of using an excavator with a thumb on it is you can get a nice burn pile stacked nice tall and tight. Once I finish stacking this burn pile, I'm going to go over behind that blue barn and take down some trees that I feel are at risk of falling on the building. Plus, we want to put an outdoor horse arena in there in the near future.
How I choose to take down large trees is I like to dig around one side of the roots and then use the bucket and the boom to go up high and force it over with the machine. You gotta watch that it doesn't barber chair. That's what that previous picture was. So you never wanna do any type of cut into it, then push. That's how you can get hurt very easily. This is all left of the big barn. Eventually this is going to be some type of horse outdoor riding arena. We're thinking somewhere around 70 or 80 feet wide by approximately 120 to 180 feet long. Let us know with a comment down below if you think that's big enough or if that's too small. This sugar maple was about 80 feet tall and the root structure was unbelievable. It took me about 15 or 20 minutes just to dig up one side. And you can see this machine was probably a little too small, but I worked at it slow and steady and ended up getting it over. I was pretty confident that it wouldn't come back on me since the roots were so thick. I would like to take a second and thank all you for the support. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and share them. My name's Tom, and we'll see you on the next one.